What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're here in downtown Chicago at Bentley Gold Coast. Uh, my boy Will Motivation texted me again. He's a madman. This guy texted me again saying he's picking up another car from here and uh, asked if I wanted to come and join him. And of course, anytime Will's in Chicago, we got to tag along. So there it is, guys. And uh, stay tuned because I don't even know what he's getting. He told me that it's going to be a big surprise. Um, he's got the Aventador. He's got the Ferrari F12. He's got the Huracan. Um, so we'll see what he adds to the uh, collection today, but there it is guys. Stay tuned and uh, let's see what Will's uh, got for us If you guys remember this was where Will picked up the uh, Champagne Aventador it was literally right there hopped in and took off so guys Will is a big Chicago uh, Supporter he buys most of all his cars from Bentley Gold Coast So if you guys don't already follow him and subscribe to his YouTube channel, make sure you do there's gonna be the links in the description box below. All right, so guys, pause the video right now and guess what Will is gonna be getting. I'm gonna tell you guys what I think. Uh, we got here a few minutes early and they have a bunch of Rolls Royces parked outside. Now, I don't know if that means anything, but I'm gonna guess that Will's gonna go with something like a Rolls Royce. Kinda unlike him. Unlike him, but what else could he do? He's got the Aventador and the Huracan and the F12. What is he gonna do, add another Aventador? So I would have to guess something like a Rolls Royce, totally different, new on the channel, like a big bossy kind of car. Um, let me know what you guys think. So pause the video right now and let me know what you guys think he's getting. This thing is sick, but that stick. All right, so Will just told me what is coming to his channel soon. Um, I was way off, <laughs> so make sure you guys stay tuned. This man is nuts. <laughs> We're here at the dealership right now. He's waiting on some paperwork to get done. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, so we're about to go check out what's upstairs. I've never been up here, so let's see. Yeah, view. Maserati area. Will you like Maseratis? I do. Yeah? Never had one. No. But uh, how about you? Uh, personally, I like the name more than the actual car, but. They're nice. They're the, nice. Name. the name is sick. The name and the logo, but that's about it for me. Yeah, I've never had one before. This is gonna get a sick view over here. What do you guys think of this uh, white Aventador Roadster? Looks like somebody traded this thing in. Inside is super sick. Look at this guy just showed up. 
we didn't get mm -hmm. third. All right, so you guys remember your car vault when Will picked up the F12? We'll take a quick look around, but a uh, big shout out to Chris and his uh, competition M5. That thing is sick. Look at this Audi R8 right here. Chris was saying this guy, this gentleman that owns this car is actually a dentist, so who knew? He really wants to get something a little bit. He's ideally looking for a 16. Okay. This is what, 17? 17, yeah. That, that was a Alright, so if you guys remember, this whole row was full of cars last time. Alright, so this is a mess. Things are going quick. Look at that. I believe this is a Pirelli edition of Ventador. Dang. These things go a hundred over list. <laughs> What do you guys think about this purple color? Look at this thing. It's a Ventador SV. Yeah. Finished in red. That red is rich. Rosso Max, Getting some work rich, done to it. Kind of but this thing is brand new, guys. Way less than a thousand miles on this thing. Whatever you do, do not open the door, please. Yeah. Do not open the door? No, no. Or it feels going to be everything. He's a gentleman that worked with my last. Yeah. This thing is nasty, dude. It's still on his first thing. So sick. No, Will, it's still on the first tank. It was on the first tank of gas, right? <laughs> 161 miles, man. It's the first tank. They got the tank down quick. Huh? Oh yeah, we can't do anything right now. Just gotta leave it. All right, so Chris is saying that this car's got 160 miles on it. Uh, it hasn't even gone through a full tank of gas yet, and Will just picked it up. So this thing is absolutely brand new. Make sure you guys check out Will's channel to see this thing in action. This is, this is the right move. This is the right car, the right move. So there, it, it's a package that you can order. It's a full carbon package. So not all of them do. You can see right here. Yeah, because obviously... Yeah, I'm going to take that off. No, no, it's fine. We can just treat that. This is a full exterior carbon package. So that's a package? That's a package. And the same thing goes around. Let's go this way. See right here? Carbon. This is a package. Carbon. Carbon. <laughs> the front is always this way. It's black, but the rear... You tell me what you think, Chris. I want, I want to get your opinion, too. <laughs> of the Aventadors. To me, of the like the Vendor base, mm -hmm. the SV, the S, and the SVJ. To me, this is the iconic front. I agree. But you, do, what do you guys think? Of well, course. I the agree. SV has a, it's the most yeah, iconic. The bumper is like the most noticeable things on uh, the Aventadors. But the SV will just sit. I think the SV, man, because it's got all of this right here. Yeah, they take every car before they make the Super Veloci version of any 12 cylinder. They go to their hyper car profile. If you look at, if you go back in time, if you look at the Lago, um, what's that car that they made? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, oh my god, uh, uh, before they made the Super Veloce, they made a car like. Uh, For the Mercy? Uh, uh, you're not talking about the Revit. Revit mm. Okay. This is the Revit front. Sick. So every time they do, like if you go right now for the Senna, so the J that's coming gotta have the Senna front on it. Mm. Anytime they go hypercar, when they finish production of the best car, they give it with the most aggressive. This is actually, if you think about it, if you go back in time and look at the Mercer Lago, 
but that finished start, you see a lot of SD. Because Lamborghini takes phone calls. From There's a mercy the right there. So they take what works and implement it in the most aggressive car. That they can find. And actually, the Super Veloce standalone V12 cylinder is the last of them. It's obviously right here. I don't know if this is part of the package. No. Carbon. Carbon, yeah. You can get a glass carbon or black. Here. Also, Chris is explaining that this car is full of carbon everywhere. You got it on the sides, up here. And obviously, has the interior carbon. Back. Which right now, because we just entered the windows, we can't, we can't get in there. Yeah. So, this is an option. The red. Uh, Remember, we went through this with Robin, the Ventador. Yeah. You can red, yellow. So, obviously, this is the Rosso Mars. This is the closest you can do. Did, did I get a good one? Oh, you, did. you got a great one, not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> These and smiles on the match. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that. Yeah, so the red Rosso Mars and with the calipers matches. Our yellows calipers don't match our yellow cars. So I, don't, don't. I don't know if you ever guys paid attention. Our no. yellow calipers don't match our yellow cars. But our red calipers matches our red cars. <laughs> so sick, man. So at least you don't have to worry about calipers. All right, so here so you go, guys. This is it. Did it again. Did it again. One more time. I delivered. <laughs> Another right. one. So yeah. anything I do with Will is always under the radar. We do the deals, we pick the right cars. I was just telling Will, it, I do these things for different reasons. I don't do it for the cars, I do it for the relationship. Me and Will, we've done four cars together in the last five years. I've known, get to know Will, get to know what he likes. And I always tell him, man, I like the way you approach things. I like what kind of motivation you bring to people. And I want to be a part of it. I want to be part of that journey, you know what I mean? So I want to bring the best thing I can do is give him the best car I can give him. So that's the whole approach behind it. And this, you know, this is what brings me joy. It's not the financial thing. It's just the fact that I can make somebody happy. I can, you know, believe in what they do because I believe in you. I know you believe in me. And this is what makes this transaction a lot easier. And then that's where we're going to do a lot more cars together. Because yep. you have to believe in what you're preaching. You know what I mean? And if that's a lot of things. Where the thing about the car business that people forget is they make it so much about money and not forget what it's all about. This is a want, not a need. You're, you're right. selling somebody a want. Right, right. So you're selling his dreams, you're right. selling your, 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 his aspirations. So you gotta really try to conquer that approach. And, and that's what people forget. They're so focused on money in a transaction that they forget actually what we're trying to do. You know, we're trying to sell dreams. So I, you know, I'm, just, I'm yeah. glad I was part of that journey and I'm yeah. looking forward to more. You guys hit them up on Instagram, Exotic Car Club. That's what's up. Check them out. That's what's up. Hopefully, Chris is gonna be making us happy here soon too. Just saying. Just saying. All right, Will, so we've seen you buy a couple cars on my channel and uh, people wanna know what you do for a living to be, to be able to afford cars like this. Okay, so um, sort of, a, not really complicated, but let me give you the full story shortly. Um, I'm a software engineer by trade, so I learned how to write code. Did corporate America, and I started a software company. I built a social network similar to LinkedIn, um, focused on a niche audience. Um, that started to make money through uh, advertising revenue, through recruiters that wanted to recruit on my website. Um, then when that business started doing well, I started investing in real estate. Um, and then I also started an independent software company um, that made a little bit of money as well. So I have three businesses, um, a social networking business, um, a software company, and a real estate investment company. So when I started buying the supercars, before I got into that, I wanted to have some investments. So I started buying rental properties and I started flipping real estate. Um, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Software engineer turned entrepreneur turned real estate investor. Cool, cool. So there it is guys, and Will actually has a course on how you guys could follow in his footsteps as well. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And who knows, maybe one day. So there it is guys. Thanks again to Will. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more.